Hello, my fellow YouTubers. Dex Mirror Floor here. I have another video. I'm on a roll. I just finished Akosi Dolls. Now we're making another video about this lush and gorgeous periwinkle or major vinca. You can see it outside. So this is a um, very invasive plant. Like once you plant it in your garden, you got to be careful because they grow so fast and invade your whole garden. So I thought it was actually planted outside. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to try to put it inside my house. Periwinkle. I got the variegated one, the beautiful variegated one. As you can see, I planted along with the tropical plant and my hostas. My hostas didn't even survive um this tropical plant is making it but i just don't want to risk it so i'm just gonna remove this one plant this the whole thing together all periwinkle together and i'm gonna make um me christmas tree top but you know when you were a kid and you wish that every day is christmas so this is actually my version of i wish every day is christmas kind of like wish come true that every day is christmas so i'm gonna make a small christmas tree out of my real periwinkle um so yeah, it's I'm, it's always gonna be there um it's not very overpowering because it's small this is my third christmas tree i have a small medium large so this is the third christmas tree that i have um but i'm gonna show you how would i wing it again <laughs> and everyday christmas tree so we have a vibe of every day is christmas so yeah before we do that let me just repot this one first i have this upcycle my cake container there you go the thing with periwinkle um they very it's it's very easy to care for once you water them once omg they just like like they grow right before your eyes look looky 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 it's so long look at this one super long so yeah it doesn't really need a lot of care but i like the idea of being able to trail it down or to uh crawl it up like this project and so like i stake it up with my orchids uh, plastic steak but uh, clearly it had grown super long now so i have another plan of um doing this and then planting it again to trail it down so i have the one that's trailing up and trailing it down that shows it's lushed um this one is under grow light in my kitchen and clearly she loves it she loves it so, yeah. so i'm just gonna remove the steak first hopefully i don't hurt her because i will need to repot As you can see, it kind of invade the whole, the whole pot system. It's all periwinkle, and my hostas is just the small ones. Look at the hostas. Actually, I think the hostas still can survive. I'm just gonna put it in a small pot, and hopefully, it still survives. Um, the tropical plant, um, it is growing actually. Wow, it's actually surprisingly good. Look at the tropical plant. They actually live well together, surprisingly. Lots of roots. Thriving there too. It has some healthy root system as you can see. So that's one. So I finished this one already. So I'm just going to get the other ones that I put it here as hanging plant. Obviously overgrown as well. So I'm just going to put them together. Thing with periwinkle, if it's um, not enough s s water, it will tell you that it's very, very really thirsty. It's very um, vocal. It's gonna like, it's gonna droop down if there's not enough water. So this one I just watered it, but since it's in a small pot, this looks like it's not enough water again. So it's so long that I they all tangled already. They like to climb and to crawl and to go all over the place okay. 
So my plan is for it to uh, all be together, untangle it, make it all pretty, do it all together and make a Christmas tree out of it. How? We're going to wing it. We're going to design it. Don't you worry. I have it on my mind for the longest time, but I've been, I've been so busy, so I wasn't able to do it right away before Christmas. But so I thought, like, it's just New Year, so I'm gonna, like, um, have the spirit of everyday Christmas. So I'm gonna put this beside my, um, where I do my live stream. So every day, every time I'm doing my live stream, it's there beside me, so I feel the spirit of Christmas every day. <laughs> So I'm just gonna, you see that, that way. this one first the almost root bound good thing we patch it so I'm gonna do like this way both sides and then I'm gonna put the Christmas tree in the middle taller and then wrap it around I love the feel of the soil to my hand. I don't know if that's weird, but it feels like you're just down to earth. <laughs> so there you go. I think um, that's done. Just press it. So if you want it to be a little bit more dense, so you can, like as you see, it's giving me a new shoot, but take some time. All right, so I repotted it, and I'm just going to go... Um, Propagate it some more. As I said, this is easy to propagate. Just gonna cut some ends and poke it in. To kind of like poke it triangularly. And make our Christmas tree a bit taller. So I'm just gonna poke it in. stand on three sides so what is Christmas tree without a light so I purchased this one at um, Dollarama I was thinking of putting this one the last uh, in first but then I thought if I change my mind then it's harder to remove so I'm just gonna wrap this around first and then put the lights up
name this one Azean Briagas. My God, let me shout out Sissy Koy Azean Briagas. This is you, my everyday Christmas tree. I'm gonna put your name down below. So I guess I'm gonna make a shout out to you, Sissy Koy. So yeah, hope you like this video and hope it gives you an inspiration to do a little bit um, a small Christmas tree like this. It doesn't have to be very wrinkle. Anything that is trailing plants would be a good idea to make it a small live a live Christmas tree. <laughs> I didn't put a lot of accessories to it. It's just a plain plant with lights on it, like a subtle light. Um, like I said, I just want it to be like my everyday Christmas kind of vibe. So I, I was going to be sitting beside me that I always feel that it's Christmas every day. Need that always time of giving and sharing and loving. And yeah, I hope you like this video and hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the notification bell so you won't miss anything that I upload. Have a blessed day. And don't forget to... Watch my other videos right on here. Bye. And of course, the food for our souls. This time it's from Lamentations 3 verses 22 and 23. The steadfast love of our Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Amen.